Hey guys, so if you're using the default 404 page template from Generate Press, you're really missing out on an opportunity to capitalize on that traffic. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom 404 page template with Generate Press Premium. Alright, so I've got a fresh install here with some dummy posts, and what I'm going to do is go to a URL that I know doesn't exist just so we can bring up the uh, 404 page. So we'll say backslash oops. And there we go. So this is the default uh, 404 message that comes up when you're using the Generate Press theme. And what we want to do is customize this completely so that we can show our own content. So the first thing we're going to do um, is make a element. So if you jump up to elements and say add new, we're going to say add new block, create. And we can go ahead and call this. Um, 404 page template and on the element type we're going to say content template uh, because this is a, a content template that's taking over a current page existing on generate press so um, i'm going to revert the editor width back to a hundred percent just so that it's accurate and now we can go ahead and insert exactly the content we want to show on that 404 page template. So quite honestly, the options are endless. Um, you can design this just like you would any other page. So we'll go ahead and create something. I'm going to insert a container with the inner container. We'll take the outer container and let's go um, 100, 20, 20, 100 on the padding for the outer container. In the inner container, I'm going to go ahead and insert a grid. We'll do a 50-50 grid here. On the left, I'm going to do a headline, and I'm going to say 404. And we're going to enter another headline. We'll say, oops, you've landed on a missing page. We're sorry about that. We can make this a H1. Um, and let's go ahead and make that bold. Line height about 1.2, maybe 1. Point, maybe 1 EMs. Um, this 404, we can actually lower the margin a little bit to about 10. Um, now below this, we can you know, as I mentioned, there's a lot of opportunities that you can take with the 404 page. Um, I'm going to explain a few ideas that to hopefully inspire you when you're creating yours. Um, but what we could do here is oftentimes I'll put in a link at least for them to go back to the home page. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert a button and we'll say back to home page. All right, so we're going to tweak this button a little bit. Um, let's just alter the padding a little bit. Um, we can add a little border radius, say eight, all the way around. And let's add a little bit more margin to the bottom. This heading, headline. All right, perfect. So um, last, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a image on this side just to kind of make it a little more fun. Go to media library, and let's see where's my image at. There it is. All right, so I already found this image. It's like an ice cream that fell out. I think it. Um, this is one of many ways that you could show a little bit of personality in your 404 page. So um, the user that ends up on it isn't just like totally bummed out, and they kind of make it give them a chuckle maybe. Uh, give them a laugh. So um, we're going to add a border radius on this as well. We'll go 10 pixels about. And then we're going to select our grid, layout, vertical alignment, center. All right. So next, um, before we publish this, we need to make sure that the location is set to the 404 page and that's where it's going to appear. So um, let me move my little guy over here. And all right, so location, if you open this up and scroll down to 404 template, select that, 
Now I'll come up and go ahead and hit publish. So now if we go to our website, go back to that URL, say slash oops, there's our 404 page. So um, perfect, worked exactly as we planned. Um, the content is showing up. And of course we can kind of tweak this on tablet and mobile. Um, I think that looks fine on tablet and mobile. Just needs some um, vertical gap, say 60 pixels. Um, looks good. Can refresh, go into customizer, take a look on all devices. That looks fine. Oop, actually, it does not look fine. We need a little bit of horizontal gap. Let's go 40 on the horizontal gap. And actually let's lower this type to about 36 point. Okay, that looks better. Let's refresh, go to tablet. All right, much better. Mobile, perfect. All right, so as you can see with Generate Press Premium and the Elements feature, you can create a custom 404 page super easy uh, and just like any you would build any other page. So uh, take the opportunity to really utilize this 404 page to your advantage. Um, you can put a lead magnet on it. You can, uh, if you're having a sale or a promotion on a product, um, you can utilize that. Of course, your 404 page, keep in mind, um, is not necessarily the best thing. So monitor those 404 links and ensure they're kept to a minimum. But stuff happens, uh, links change. So if it does happen, make sure that you're putting in a little bit of personality and maybe taking advantage of this traffic that might ending up on the page to begin with.